Okay, well, come back. I'm starting without Skylar. He's in the bathroom. I don't know what he's doing. He might be pooping. If he's pooping, I really don't want to wait for him. If he's peeing, you know, it won't be too long. But anyway, just you and me. <laughs> Shaggy, he's such a goofy dude. I'm just gonna hop on the back of his fucking lawnmower he's got here. I'm gonna grab some Scooby snacks. Look at that. I got fucking. I got needled. I got sliced through my fucking doggy feet. And I just heard the door close. I think Skylar's coming out. Oh, he, here he is. He's he's back. I think he peed. Maybe. I don't know. He pooped. I was like, who the fuck are you talking to? He poops really quickly. It's weird. I, uh, yeah, I also do that too. Oh, fuck. I mean, sometimes it's fe it feels really weird. Oh, fuck. Like, oh. I'm like, I really need a shit. And then it just barely anything comes out. What were you saying? I'm riding a lawnmower and Shaggy's driving it. It turned oh, out how that did Shaggy get the, here? the big scary monster from yesterday. Mm -hmm. That was Shaggy. Oh, we were yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, fine. You good? I mean, I don't think it's funny. I'm just relieved. Yeah, I'm relieved also. No, I was just like the game pulled a fast one on me. It did. How, how did everyone like the uh, solo James Let's Play? I hope they liked it. I'm I was being really informative, really? like you when you played Dark Souls. Oh yeah. Oh, that thing scared me apparently. So you're just talking about a whole lot of nothing that no one cares about? No, I was, I was saying important shit. Okay. I yeah, think. That, that's good. That's better. Okay, you know what? You can actually just avoid everything if you hang out down here. Yeah, but then you're not getting the snacks. Yeah, I guess you're right. You gotta get. You gotta give people some excitement. I guess you're right, but I you thought it was kind of cool because I figured stuff out. Figured how to be a smart kid when I played this. I was the smartest kid in six. No, <laughs> the smartest kid. In my <laughs> I class. mean, I was the smartest kid in fourth grade. Yeah, <laughs> fourth grade. I just, I don't know the right year to say for this game. Um, I'm like 2004. 2004. Yeah. Uh, what grade was 2004? Um. Wait, I actually think that was accurate. Shit. <laughs> it was different. <laughs> Damn it. Different for everyone. Because I, well, for me at least, I was in first grade in 2001. Were you? Yeah. So that for me would be accurate. How, do, how come you know that? I don't know. I can't answer that. I just do. Do you just go year by year after that? Like, so 2002 was second, 2003 was third, 2004 was fourth. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty easy. You just be like, "What?" Number yeah, because you started. There? You started like 2001, once grade. It works out. It's easy. Yeah, it does. It's Wait. nice, and it's pretty. No, that okay. We're both fucking idiots. Because then I'd have to be four years old to be in first grade. Wait, so you were so wrong? Ne yep, I was exactly wrong. Because then I was like, "Wait a second, the 2012 means I'd be a fucking senior," and I wasn't. I was in tenth grade. So I'm off by a couple of years. Yeah, right? God damn it. See, so I I mathed you out of it. You did math me out of it. I have no idea. I mean, that'd be pretty convenient I remember, for people who were in first grade in 2001. I remember... Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. shooting them laser beams yeah. at you. It's a witch. It's scary. I, uh... I th fuck you. In, uh... Oh, fuck. I remember in kindergarten, I think... I just remember they made us say the date every day, so we were like, we'd we'd what? sit down, yeah, and like as a class they'd make us say the date, so we'd be like, it's February twenty third, two thousand and three, and like that's how I know that I was in school for two thousand three because <laughs> I remember every I remember the fucking choir of my. Kindergarten class saying 2003. Oh my god, that actually sounds boring as shit. And then when the year turned over, it was like 2004, and it was really exciting. It was really exciting. At the time, it was. I, I, and they also had us sing like I, I weirdly patriotic songs every day. <laughs> like, I don't know if they made you guys do that, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know if that should be in church. In church, in no, church. It, it, it belongs in church. <laughs> I don't know that should. I don't know if patriotism should be in church. It belongs in church. I know because they had a thing like, um, uh, what? There's one of those that are fucking religious. One of the songs. Because we, we had to, we had to fuck. Okay, I almost died. We had to sing like, "My Country Tis a Thee." Oh yeah, and. uh... 
What what the fuck else was there? I don't know. I don't know any other patriot fucking America, patriot songs. Um, God shed his grace on thee. What song is that? <laughs> you know that song? <laughs> no. Uh, America the Beautiful. Part. America the Beautiful. And it talks okay. about God. And I think a lesbian wrote it. I could be wrong. <laughs> no, I think a lesbian wrote it. And I think it was a, a big. I think it was a big problem, where everyone got all upset about it. Yeah, like a fucking lesbian wrote the song. Gross. Gross. I think like you should check for me. That's what you should do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? I can't just fucking oh say shit that's gosh. not right, right? Yes, you can't. You it's can not be cool. like maybe we don't have to be factual on this. What 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 what's, what what's the song title? America the Beautiful. America the Beautiful. What else do we have to? Do? I Did, whenever it was my turn, I chose this land <laughs> is your land. Um, you know, yeah, you're right. It is by lesbian. It is okay. Cool. Ray Charles. Well, at least he was gay. <laughs> was he actually? No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> don't fucking confuse me. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I had it mixed uh, up. I'm just kidding. He had another song called America the Beautiful. Um, if you're talking about the actual, like, pay, uh, Catherine Lee Bates. Catherine Lee Bates. Yeah. Is she a lesbian? I don't know. Does she prefer the women? Over the male gender? I'm looking at her Wikipedia page. I'm trying to skim it for that. I believe she is. I think that people didn't like that. Uh... I'm trying to reminisce. Yes, I always chose. Okay, yeah. Bates lived in Well and Wellesley with her longtime friend and companion, Catherine Coleman. She was a lesbian so at the time when lesbian. being a lesbian was really like not. Oh, a thing. even it's, yeah, very much so not okay. Just uh, like it was in the time where even being black was not okay. Yeah, it was. So it was really cool. But then again, that really hasn't cool. been okay since until like oh, fuck. 1980. Yeah, it's kind of stupid how re recent that was. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I mean, if you live through it, then no. But <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, for us, it's kind of unheard of. I mean, the distance right now from like what 1980. Yeah. Is like from now to what fucking. You know, I'm proud of myself because it's crazy. I'm proud of myself because whenever like cuz they let one kid choose one of these like five songs that we had to sing every day. Mm. And those were two of them, like that and My Country Tisithy. And This Land Is Your Land was one of them, and I always chose that when it was my turn. I was so that, I was a, I was a, I was a progressive little fucking little, little kindergartner. Oh yeah. Or no. I just like the melody better. But no, whatever, I was just saying what I want to say. Yeah, we didn't have to do anything like that. We didn't sing any songs in kindergarten. I remember my first day, like, ever in kindergarten, they made us do the, um, what was it? The Pledge of Allegiance? Yeah, they made us do that every morning until oh, yeah. 12th grade, so. Yeah, exactly, which is stupid, but, like, I'm my first day starting school ever, Pledge of Allegiance. How the fuck am I supposed to know that? Yeah, right? I mean, they, I didn't they get teach up. it to you in kindergarten. No, they didn't. They they did. I think they taught us. They did not. Or, or they, they were, were just like, like, you'll figure it out sooner or later. No, they were like, okay, everyone will be like in a like what standing in rows. That's a little and you'll like do it. And like I was just ah, da, 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 pretending I know it. It's a little fucked up, and that they made us do that. Oh yeah, it very much is. But I didn't know also it until the, like first grade. But yeah. Also, uh, I guess at some point. It became controversial because people would say it, but they wouldn't say the under God part. Oh, I, I was that kid in high school. I think I did. I was like, when I was like 11th or 12th grade, I think I stopped saying under God. Or like, I stopped saying maybe that like, since, maybe like, like, since I started high school. Maybe like 10th grade. I don't know. I don't know exactly when. But when I did it, I was like, I'm making a statement. And then like, yeah. I, then I grew up a little more and I was like, who cares? <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I, I mean, some people really care. <laughs> to yeah, to yeah, be yeah. fair, some people really care, and yeah. that's cool. Um, some people, that's their conviction. But for me, like, I think I was just yeah, absolutely. Like, like, I'm an atheist. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody yeah. do their thing, but like, you know, we both have like the thing in common where in tenth grade we were both like, I'm an atheist. I'm cool. I'm great. Fuck God. <laughs> yeah. Like, and we were like trying to um. <laughs> argue with anyone who was religious at the time. Oh yeah, it was really a I was just, lifestyle. yeah, finding people to argue with. Like, I remember 
I did. I have like we. My best friend at, and I at the time. We I had found this the heated discussion about like just religion and shit. Hang on, quick. And like, look what I can do now. What can you do? Oh hell yeah! You can. I have a back. helmet. You know what I can do for the first time? <laughs> Give fuck, fuck shit. Fuck up. enemies. Oh yeah. You're basically Spyro. Um. But yeah, so we like we got in this heated argument and shit, and then like the next day we was like, "Sup? How's it going?" <laughs> like, no big deal. Yeah. But um, I remember like for a while I would just not even say the pledge at all. Yeah. Like I would just stand up, not even put my heart, my hand over my heart. I was just standing there, like, hey, yeah, because they made you stand for a while. I yeah, mean, there well, were a couple times, yeah. like me and Brandon wouldn't stand for it, and. uh... A lot oh, I tried out doing that also. A fair amount of teachers didn't care, but there were like there were some that were like, just like fucking do it out of respect or whatever. Yeah, there no yeah the teachers for me at least they got upset when even when I didn't say it they're like you have to do this and I'm like fuck you, <laughs> basically. Yeah, um, yeah I just didn't fucking do it most of the time because I think it's stupid. I think it's really fucking stupid. I remember stupid. the first time I heard uh... And like, the thing is, as a kid, especially in elementary school, like they don't know any better. I fucking didn't because, you know, if kindergarten and Skylar if I was in kindergarten Skylar, I'd fucking say like, how do you expect me to know this? You guys are just doing this and be like, eh, say these things, say the pledge. Yeah. It's so stupid. I can't comment because uh, they, they kind of knew that we didn't know it when we started. No, yeah, they mind expected it like day one, and I thought it was so fucking stupid. Okay, well, you know, like, yeah, now looking back, obviously. You know what else this game makes you do that uh, is Resident Evil y? What's up? Earlier, I couldn't progress in Shock on the Dock because I didn't have this invention yet oh. that I found in the hedge maze. Oh. So now I have to retrace my steps. Oh, cool. Yeah, well, wait, also, I, I actually, I fucked up. Resident I'm Evil wrong. does that, but like, those. I'm wrong. Oh, oh, you're wrong. Again. Yeah, because oh, I need another up. invention. Sorry, spoiler. Oh, fuck. And, uh, but you know what? Now, I can progress in Clamor in the- fuck. <laughs> uh, Clamor in the man- oh my god, does every- does every area rhyme like that? That's yeah, fucking amazing. Yeah. I can- I promise you, now I can progress here where I couldn't before. You will Hell see. Yeah. You'll see it. You'll all see it. Um, okay. I was gonna say, the first time mm -hmm. that I heard- the Star Spangled Banner. I was so annoyed with that, like, we recited the pledge every day because the Star Spangled Banner sounded so much better to me. Oh, yeah, like, the pledge <laughs> is so just fucking monotone. And, like, when I heard the Star Spangled Banner the first time, I'm like, why are there so many fucking things about America? Like, that, that's seriously. also true, but... And, like, I don't, I don't know, because I don't know, like, other cultures. I like the melody, and, that's okay, all I'm saying. Anybody from, like, Europe... Or fucking Japan, or whatever. Any other, like, country and, um, culture, please tell- please tell us, do, like, do you guys have, like, a shit ton of, like, oh, yeah. anthems? I mean, every I country mean, has its yeah. anthem. That's okay, perfectly well, fine, but, like, also, we have too goddamn many, IMO. Also, let me get this out there. I prefer the Canadian National Anthem, so that's, like, blasphemy. I don't know that. I like it. It's uh, like, oh, Canada. Oh, that's right. Oh, and it is land. I think that's worse. I mean, if anything, the Star Spangled Banner is just kind of boring. It, it's like, sorry like, for anybody who's like. It's melodic. I like who's melodic. Who's like super stuff. into America. But like, it's melodic, but like, you, the most interesting bit is when it goes from like the jump of the super high note. And you're jumping oh, like fuck. you're jumping like a thirteenth or something. You know, just oh to, no no no. Most people most people jump a thirteenth because otherwise it'll just be a third or something like that. Just to encapsulate this in this episode before we move on. Yes. Because earlier I was talking about this land is your land. It always fucking pissed me off when uh, instead of because when I learned the song, it was like this land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Islands. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. And every uh -huh. time I fucking heard someone sing uh, after, like, that's how I learned it. And mm -hmm. everyone else literally says it. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> no! No! That's not what you You're do. putting, like, an <laughs> extra five seconds into it. Like, yeah, oh my god, yeah. I also have to play. I mean, which the, probably and sounds... the Star Spangled Banner took... For fucking ever, but, honestly. But that, that, 
if you know this land is your land, that probably sounds right to you. And you're like, what are you talking about? Okay, like, all I to me, it bothers me. Okay? I just want to say, like, for the record, I don't hate America. I like it here a lot. Wow, no well, way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, no, because I'm like, I'm shitting on, like, we have so many anthems and shit. We're just talking about the but, music. Like, this is strictly yeah, music. Yeah, I'm also like, you know, cult, this culture in particular feels like it has, like, a bunch. But, like, it's not just, a, I don't like it, period, when people just kind of are super elitist about their own culture. Oh, like, yeah. That's, that's in just general. Annoying. I mean, yeah, I mean, in general, like yeah, anybody, yeah. like I don't, it, it's not, it's not, um, what's the word? Like, I, is that is it like racist, but culturist, I guess. No, it's not, no, it's, it's not, not culturist. No, when you're about I don't that think it everything. is. It yeah. annoys me when anyone makes their culture them, like, like their entire that, being. Oh yeah, or like that, you know, like the, which, it's the greatest thing ever. It's like okay, which always like, chill. sounds bad when it's not like American, and you're like, yeah. I don't like how they make that their whole personality. But I don't like. When I don't like what Amer Americans do. It it's either. the worst when it's, Americans do it because oh, yeah. then they're like, I like guns and women. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stereotype, yeah. But no, like, there's literally okay. When people say like, Hang "What on. do you love most about America?" This is really going on a little too long. It's kind of is, but I mean, we. Uh, I got one last thing to say. Fine, go like, for it. Uh, uh, when people say like, "What do you love most about America?" Everyone will be like, "Freedom," and nobody knows what the fuck that means. Like, actually, America is not fucking free, like at all. Are you kidding me? You have like the second highest tax rate in all the I whole think, fucking world. I think everyone knows that, and yeah, uh, I forget who said Ooh, it, so. I'm really sorry. Someone know. said it like, Just "Oh yeah, was it Jim Jeffries?" In the, yeah, we have in the most free country in the world. You have the least amount of free people. Yeah, exactly. We have the highest <laughs> oh, fucking yeah, jail rate. That's true. Yeah. That's also yeah. true. I was also saying like, uh, I think what? Yeah, we're second to Denmark in terms of taxes, or I think I don't know. I so, could be, uh, I I could be completely know. wrong, honestly. Um, but yeah, I just hate it when people get elitist about Americans. America, it just it seems like you're just sucking your own dick, basically. And, That's what uh, it is to me. But I guess we'll leave that there because we <laughs> went for 17 minutes today. Holy right. shit. We'll okay. see you next time. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. There was a conversation. That, that was a conversation and a half. Yeah. Fuck.